the world's most important airlines. So what is your vision for Qatar Airways? The way I see it, this is my vision since day one when I joined, uh, when I started this role, is to continue to be the people's choice, to continue to be meet the expectation when it comes to customer experience, uh, to continue to set benchmarks uh, for in the industry. And uh, the second uh, vision that we, I, I have, I personally have, is to be the leaders in the, in the industry when it comes to innovation, when it comes to a new technology. Uh, and I think the industry needs uh, leaders uh, in this uh, area. The last uh, part of my vision, you know, no, you don't need to convince anybody uh, uh, today to fly Qatar Airways. So as much as the passengers love to fly on Qatar Airways, I want to make sure that our staff and our employees love to work for Qatar Airways. I want them to wake up in the morning, have a smile on their face, looking forward to come to the office, to go on board of one of our flights and look forward to serve our uh, customers. So would it be fair to call this a strategy refresh or a strategy reset even? Uh, Dan, I'll take you back four months ago. Uh, my first day in the office in the, in the, as the group CEO of the company, uh, I sent a very clear uh, message to the 60,000 employees of the, of the company. And this message was prepared uh, by me. It wasn't prepared by anybody else because I wanted to send them a clear message that was written and I, I meant every word of it. Uh, the message, the, ma the main part of the, or the most important part of the message was to tell everybody this is a new era. It's a culture of trust and empowerment. My vision as a CEO is basically to listen uh, to, this, to the employees, to empower them, to help them to deliver more and more, and uh, make sure that uh, we build leaders uh, in, the, in the company. And the only way you are able to build leaders is to empower them and give them the trust that uh, they deserve. What makes this one of the most significant moments in the airline's history is the fact that your predecessor, Akbal Abeka, was in the role for 27 years. 27 years is a pretty long time to be leading an airline. He received both praise and criticism during his near three-decade tenure. So. How would you describe your leadership style in comparison to his? You know, my, my leadership style, as, as I explained to you, is basically built on, on uh, trust and empowerment of our people. Decisions are not made by one person. It's basically, you know, you have experts in each uh, area in the, in, in, uh, in the company. So it's always about sitting together, setting up strategies for the future collectively and making everybody feel that they're part of the decision that you make and make them feel that they're accountable uh, for it. This is the way to make sure that the strategy and the plans you start or you have are implemented and every one of the company will take it on his shoulder that this is their job to make sure it is implemented and it is successful.